dirty. Oh my goodness. But it's supposed to rain this weekend, so I'm sure a second I'm gonna wash it. down to Benson, Arizona. We're going to stay at our first KOA, Campground of America, and uh, see what they're all about. While we're down there, we plan on taking a day and going to Tombstones, only about 20 miles away. As typical uh, eastbound I-10 is, we're going about seven or eight miles an hour for right now, and it picks up and then slows down. But we're not in a hurry. We're going to get there. We're going to enjoy the day and uh, have a good weekend. Getting the drone all charged up. Hopefully in a few hours if the weather cooperates. Take it out. Take it for a spin. This is the first RV park we've been to where it's not drone restricted. had another cold night in the RV here in Benson last night. However, we woke up this morning, 62 to 64 inside, which isn't terrible. Reason why, since our Furion fireplace is still broken, we're waiting for a new one to come in. We bought a couple of little space heaters. So between the space heaters and the furnace, oh, kept us pretty warm all night. We got a little busy when we got home. We had a late start. We had a late lunch anyway. Yes. So, not that I like to eat this late, well, but... We were helping another RV or having some uh, tank issues. So, me and Chris and another gentleman all went over there and kind of tried to, tried to help out and get his tanks, get his tanks unclogged. Between the four of us, we were able to get them all going and stuff, you know? RVers helping RVers. That's, Oops. that's the way it is. Doing some chicken. Barbecuing some chicken. And then I'm gonna do some zucchini. And the zucchini only takes like two minutes. So we'll bust that out real quick at the end. It won't be good it's to just go. just a lot We're of it. But... Eating a late dinner. It's probably about 7.30 here in Benson. So yeah. Yep, you're right. It's all good. So last night, Chris and I were helping out a neighbor in their RV. He had flagged Chris down and asked for a little bit of help. His tank wasn't dumping, he had a clog, something to that effect. It was a brand new RV to him, but it was a used one he bought. So we're thinking it was just a clogged pipe or something. So I I just bought one of these Rhino Blasters, you know, to have on hand just in case for us to help clear out the, uh, the tanks. So I brought it over, let him use it, and everything else and all I told him was hey if you could just kind of wash it for me and make sure it's clean before you give it back to me and he's like no way I'm buying you a new one uh, sent a relative to Walmart and about two hours later he comes knocking on my door last night and drops me off a new one so you know whenever you're in the whenever you're able to you know help out your fellow RVers you never know when something that you have might be something that they need to uh, get through the night yeah. we stayed at the Benson KOA uh, our first KOA. It was a KOA journey, uh, probably about a mile off of I-10 in Benson, so it was pretty convenient. It's old. It's an old place. Most of the amenities are not available right now. The pool is non-existent. It's just a big dirt hole right now. So here's the swimming pool and jacuzzi. Apparently it's been under construction for a while. Looks like it was a big pool at one point. I was talking to somebody who's been there for a while and they said it's been like that now for about two years. But they are working on it. Apparently they spent a lot of money getting the infrastructure upgraded, uh, water, sewer, electric, and everything else. So now they're waiting, waiting to be able to do everything else. The thing about the KOA that I, over the last three days or four days that we were there, I just, they want to do better. There's parts of it that, you know, like I, they've replaced all the picnic tables. They replaced, like they're slowly trying to get stuff done. It's just so old. Uh, the dog park is nice. Their bathrooms were really nice, super clean. Um, 
Yeah. The laundry room was not super big, but clean and had a lot of washers and dryers. And I, so it's like you almost want to root for them because they want to do better. They just can't get quite get over that. And I, so that part is sad to me because I think that, I don't know, they need to for what you pay to. That RV park was never designed originally for large RVs and now they're trying to make the accommodations and and make some modifications because there were a lot of large yeah, RVs in there. that's what's interesting is uh, the majority of the resort was full of RVs almost as big as ours if not right. as big. We saw quite a few big 42, 45 foot toy haulers and everything else which once you're in your spot you're okay just uh -huh. the roads are a little narrow and stuff like that. But for $60 a night with pretty much no amenities other than just your spot so yeah again though I, I can see potential they have adorable little cabins you can rent they have the tent camping um, so there is definitely like room for growth and you see that it's just they can't quite get over it I had a great time because I just like going out in the ring I just enjoy doing it and I enjoy being there there so. is so much of Arizona we never got to do mm -hmm. when because our kids grew up playing club sports and everything else and tombstone is one of those places i've always wanted to go to so we are in tombstone arizona going down the famous allen street seeing all the old buildings and where the gunfights occurred and all that good fun touristy stuff a lot of the businesses don't let you take pictures or film inside so a lot of the cool stuff that we've been looking at we haven't been able to show you go into Big Nose Kate's. Have some lunch. It looks very cute in it. Yeah, you look cute with your hat. Oh, it's oh, keeping my hair from blowing everywhere and getting nuts. Nothing. No pool. 
nothing. That's the worst yeah. thing for her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. The whole town is still in the 1880s, in that period era, and they do a lot of gunfight reenactments. Yes. Um, all the museums talk about, you know, the big one, the gunfight at the OK Corral. Oh, oh. Hey. knew about the story well I I've heard of it I don't want to say I have it but I didn't really like correlate I feel like when I I feel like when people talk to me about tombstone I was younger and I just didn't quite appreciate history and whatnot so I would say be you know knowledgeable and where so you know get the get the history of it so you right. know when you go down there but if even if you don't have it you're going to find out the history and it's really pretty cool because it's like it, it I don't know. It's just really cool to see the history of Arizona. We're going to look at the original Birdcage Theater. came up here obviously looked at the weather report and we knew on the Sunday which was yesterday we knew there was supposed to be a little bit of rain in the morning and a windy day but you know, the rain never hurt anybody until I woke up at 6 30 in the morning from the howling 30 <laughs> 40 mile an hour wind gusts that were going and you could hear the rain and the rain started and it was about 40 degrees outside, according to the weather app. All of a sudden, snow flurries. Don't even. Because <laughs> Kevin was sitting on the couch and I was in the kitchen. And I looked out the window and I was like, what did I just see? And I, I said, Kevin, there's like little snow coming down. And he's like, no, 
it's not supposed to snow. And I'm like, okay, I get that. I like my weather app. I like my weather.com app. And it's a running joke. It's a running joke in our family because, I mean, I'm going to exaggerate, but it could be like pouring rain and Kevin will be like, no, we're not supposed to get rain. And we're all like, okay. So I, I literally was like, I see it with my eyes. He finally saw it. It was ever so slightly. This these little snowflakes coming down. And then all of a sudden. Living here in Arizona, growing up in the Phoenix area, don't really get to see this much. But it's so beautiful, I had to come out here for a walk and take a look at it. Come out and play. I love it. I just finished, I was just gonna throw on some clothes and come on out. I yeah, think the, it's awesome. The girls are coming out, they're like, we're gonna go play in the snow. How often do we get this here? Come on out. Now, obviously it's not sticking, so we can't really play in it, quote unquote. But look, look at all the snow. It's snowing! In February, huh? In Arizona. <laughs> I know. Look at all the snow that's sticking to, to the clothing and the hat. <laughs> Unreal. Just wait 20 minutes and it'll change. That's the motto of Arizona weather. I can't believe it's snowing. I can't go on snowing. No. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, yeah, I thought you were taking a picture. No. <laughs> I'm like, keep smiling, just keep smiling. For brand new RVers, where three of them don't like cold and said, oh, we don't need to worry about cold. Three of them? We're going to avoid the, we're going to avoid cold three places. Three of them? Who's three? Oh, I thought you three. No. No, I, I don't want to go oh. camp in snow, but <laughs> I don't mind Here snow. we are, our last two, our last two camp outs we get snowed on. I like snow. In Arizona. Yeah. I, I think it's wanna, funny. I don't want to camp. The last one here. didn't count. This one counts. This is really actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I know yeah, we're weird, weird if we're acting this way, but it, it's just... We're not used to it. We're not used to snow. I mean, even when we went Look to Flag, snowing. it really never snowed on us. Oh. Hi! Here we are! Playing in the snow, or what little... What little bit of snow there is. <laughs> yeah, it's enough to see. I mean, it's sticking to the trucks a little bit. You can bit. catch it on your tongue. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful out here. Mm -hmm. Another experience from the <laughs> RV life. Yeah, we didn't think we'd get this one, so on this yeah. trip. I think the snow was not expected. It was supposed mm -hmm. to be rain for a couple hours, but yeah. And it actually doesn't feel that cold outside. So what do we do on a rainy day at the campground? Watch some basketball. Guacamole. And Chris made homemade guacamole. I'm gonna assume you didn't make the salsa by hand. I would have if I had the stuff. But no. <laughs> I've made some phenomenal salsa before. Yeah. So we're just gonna hang out for a while. We played in the snow. What? We played in the snow. Well, not in the snow. <laughs> yes. But we went and stood in it. It was fun. Yes. So now we're just going to relax for a while, have some chips and guac. And watch the Suns. Watch the Phoenix Suns play. Without KD, though. We thought he was going to play today, but he's not. Wednesday. Yep. Wednesday. This is the day KD was supposed to start with us, but not so much. By the time you see this video, he'll long be playing with us. I'm assuming he's going to do awesome. And hopefully the trade works out. Decided to get gas the night before. Pull out of here. We leave tomorrow. So Chris and I decided we should probably get gas today so we don't have to do it. But the trailer's hooked up. There's Chris back there. Maybe you get a chance to get gas without your RV. It's a lot easier. And then we, the wind actually finally died down uh, last night. So we were able to finally have a fire. And had and a good I didn't time. Think we were going to be able to do that because no. it was pretty windy even all day. And so when it finally, it was like still at night. So yeah, when we had the fire, it was nice. It was a nice treat. Every time it feels better and better. And it, it just kind of solidifies that we made the right choice. Absolutely. I, I think that we, I, I get sad when we have to go home. And I get so excited when we get to go out in our rig and live in it. Right, and so I overall, the KOA. Park, what would you give it? Oh, I'm so torn on this because I don't like to give a bad rating, but I I did give them a two. Yeah. I I mean the hookups are good and I see that they want to make progress, but even their people were really nice. I will yes. say that talking to their people, a lot of their people and it was different people 
They're all agree. work campers. Yeah, the work, they, they agree that the park needs to be, it needs to be completely made over like they want to. And the problem is it's just taking too much time. They're not, you know, but they're taking baby steps and they need to take a little bit bigger steps. So for me, it's a two for the price. Yeah, for the price, it gets a two. Yeah. It does. Yeah. So that's just us being honest. I don't, I, we always want to be honest on the channel. I don't want to, you know, say that it's better than it is or that it's worse than it is. And uh, it just, that's, that's where we, it fell for us. Did it do the job? Yes. We had full hookups. We had a spot. We were very happy. Um, but it, it, it just needs to be better for what you pay. And All right, everybody, do us a favor. If you haven't yet already, please subscribe down there that really helps us out um, hit that notification bell as well you'll be notified when we put out new videos and give us a thumbs up yeah give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment please interact with us you know as you can see we are trying to grow our channel if you're enjoying it you know leave us some comments let us know what you what you like about it what you don't like about it be honest with us we will see you on the next trip all right bye bye bye